hello everyone in this video i'm going to tell you in detail about the new feature in ibs paint x app that is the vector tool so first i have you can see that i just uh, install the latest version of ibs paint x app and here you can see there is some new tool called vector so i will tell you how to use that here you can see i'm just using the blank usual layer and if i use that vector tool here you can see vector tool is available only for a vector layer so we cannot use that tool in a normal layer we have to use that only in the vector layer so for example here i'm just making some uh, details and even after that i cannot use that tool in the normal layer so what how we can create a vector layer there are two ways so the first one is there is option here in the plus symbol add vector layer you can simply uh, click on that vector layer add vector layer and if it is a vector layer it have symbol like this which means that layer is a vector layer so once you create a vector layer and you can use any brush in your brush set uh, to create any artwork in the vector layer and here you can see i am using felt tip pen hard brush to make some simple flaw shape in this vector layer so yeah you can use any brush in the vector layer um, because uh, we have already created that layer especially for the vector so in that uh, sense you can use any brush so another way uh, how you can create a vector brush e vector layer is using the vector brush so here you can see I am in the normal layer and I'm not going to use to create a vector layer it's in but I'm going to use this vector pen. So vector dip pen, vector fill tip pen. So I'm going to use the vector brush. I don't find any other vector brush other than these two brush. So I'm going to use this vector fill tip pen brush in a normal layer. And you can see I'm on the normal layer. And I'm creating the shape using the vector brush. Once you made that, a, a vector layer is automatically crea created by its own when you use the vector brush so that's the difference there are two ways one using the add vector layer option and another using the vector brush itself so here i just simply deleted all those a layer that we have used for the example and drawing on the normal layer with the vector brush and you, you can see at the top we got a um, notification that added a vector layer so which means i am now drawing on the vector layer so just drawing a basic shape flower shape and here you can you have to note that i am making each petal as, as a separate stroke so why i am uh, telling this simple detail is that each thing matters so when you are creating separate shape separate stroke for each um, you know details like each petal a stem that means we are creating separate shapes so here I just created this and now I will show you how to use this vector tool effectively so now I'm, on, now I'm on the vector layer and I'm going to use this vector tool. So we can, as I already told you, we can use vector tool only on the vector layer. Now, once I click on that vector option, you can see this is the normal flower. And when you click on the vector, you got some line, a uh, gray line which means be using the vector tool and here you can see I made these two petal in a single stroke so it comes in a sec as a separate shape and other uh, shapes comes uh, like a separate shape so each stroke how you making stroke also matters in this vector layer so now I'm going to you can using the vector tool you can move any strokes separately no matter how 
uh, overlapped uh, with the other shapes so for example uh, in the normal layer if i'm making any art details like uh, these lay uh, strokes are overlapped with one another we can only move the entire shape consists of so many strokes but we cannot separately move any single stroke but in the vector layer you can see everything is touched uh, with another but using the vector layer i can move the uh, that particular stroke in uh, you know effectively without disturbing any other shapes so that's the main thing about the vector tool and here you can see I just made a, a line above this floor and it is not overlapped with that you can move easily using the vector tool now if you want to delete that shape using that three dot you can delete it so editing features in the vector tool so basic thing we uh, know about the vector now now there are so many tools inside this so when I click on this pencil symbol using this color line a, a, a line color you can change the color of that stroke like this and you can see I'm keeping it black again you can change the thickness of this stroke and also you can change the brush from one another like here I'm using the vector uh, fill tip pen brush but you can change to any other brush in the brush set which is absolutely not possible in the normal layer so you can see i am using the airbrush particle brush then let me try this watercolor brush you can see that stroke is uh, separately changed to the another uh, brush when you click on this option so another thing is order so here you can see this stroke is uh, or, um, overlapped with the two more uh, strokes like this maybe these two petal and if you increase the size you can see that lay, lay stroke is overlapped with few more extra um, you know extra strokes so here we have three more strokes uh, along with that this stroke also present so if you want to move it uh, we can move to the top or bottom uh, I will show with the color variation so this is our stroke with the green color and it is freehand 3 and now if I move to the bottom this black line came to the top which means uh, we are reordering the strokes so that which stroke have to come at the top and which stroke have to come at the bottom we can decide that using this order option so this really helpful when you are creating so many details on a single layer and if you, uh, you want to move one above another so you, you don't need to use so many layers in, in single layer you can do all these things so yeah that's about that pencil symbol and another thing is in the three dots we have so many other tools so first one is edit vertex so which means we have so many anchor points uh, vertices uh, in each stroke here you can see there are you know almost hundred of strokes and you can change the shape of the stroke easily using these anchor points by just dragging moving them or if you also want to delete you can delete them so here you can see i'm just dragging and moving the anchor points one by one and if you want to delete that anchor point just select once you selected it the anchor point will become blue color and you can click on the three dot to delete that anchor point so here i'm selecting multiple blue line or uh, multiple anchor points everything became blue color now click on this three dot and delete those anchor points and here you can see there is no anchor points between these two in this area that's because we uh, we have already deleted that so yeah this is how you you can change the shape of the stroke using the uh, edit vertex next and you can 
the ordering again uh, we can reorder or bring it to the front or bring it to the back so here you can see if you want to move that to the entire back of all the details just click on this bring to back go to back or bring to the front to bring that to the front and reorder already we have seen that reorder option that's the same here and you can flip the particular shape uh, horizontally or vertically you don't need to use the entire layer instead you can uh, you know um, flip horizontally vertically using this option and now this select shape if you want to release the selection you can do that or if you want to delete that shape you can delete yeah these are the things uh, which are available inside that vector layer uh, vector tool so next the you cannot use these two tools uh, inside your vector layer what are those are uh, the uh, these two things bucket tool and special tool for example i'm going to fill some color in the vector layer but you cannot because you have to create a separate layer to use the bucket tool you cannot fill colors uh, in the vector uh, layer so yeah you can simply create a new layer and fill that layer uh, shapes with any color you want but you cannot do that in the uh, you know um, vector layer another thing is special tool you cannot use the lasso fill tool on the vector tool again you have to create a separate layer to do all those things here you can see you have to you cannot do that in a normal layer uh, you cannot do that in a vector layer so yeah that's two thing you cannot do uh, in this vector layer now so what are the things you can do in this vector layer you can erase and add text so here I'm going to use eraser there is no anything like a vector eraser uh, I just ch checked and there is no something like that so I'm in the vector layer and using the deep pen hard eraser and now it looks like this and when you click on the vector there is a stroke line for the erasers as well so this is our stroke and this is the eraser stroke and you can move that eraser stroke wherever you want we have doubt that it may be a white color stroke here i will show you um, the difference so now i'm taking that uh, into a png and here you can see there is no white stroke instead it is eraser stroke so that we can move and if you made a mistake by erasing just click on that erase stroke and you can erase it easily so that's very good thing uh, it's you know really comfortable for us to create so many things easily uh, when we don't need to uh, redo so many times instead we can just click on the particular stroke and delete so next one is the text tool so we can use text tool here uh, usually when we click on the text tool uh, it all automatically create a new layer and uh, for the text alone but when it comes to vector layer when you click on the text tool it doesn't create any new layer instead it creates the text box inside that vector layer and as usual you can have all the tools except the edit vertices here you can see we have the edit vertex extra in normal art details and for the text it is not there other than that we can use all those things we can use entire layer details using the transform tool and if you want to move it separately just click on the vector tool and select one by one whether it is a text or a stroke it doesn't matter it moves perfectly so yeah that's it two good thing that you can do also we can as i told you can transform that so next uh, s for clipping and no for alpha lock which means we can create a clipping layer for the vector layer so this is a normal clipping layer that i created for the vector layer 
and i'm making some strokes in the um you know normal layer but it is applied to the vector layer as well since it is clipping but we cannot click on the alpha lock so here you can see for this layer alpha lock appears but for the vector layer alpha lock didn't appear so we cannot use the alpha lock for the vector layer and the last thing is uh, merging and rasterizing so if you want to merge a normal layer with vector layer we have to rasterize that vector layer when you merge if you click on that ok the this layer became a normal layer merged all these details inside uh, and became a normal layer and you cannot use a vector tool on that layer anymore so but if you have two vector layers and if you want to merge them together you can do that so here in the another vector layer i'm just making some flaws and now i want to merge them together this is possible still that layer is a vector layer so make sure you merge only two vector layer and not a normal layer and vector layer because when you make that that um, became rasterized and another thing if you want to use that a vector layer into a normal layer click on that three dots uh, when being on that layer and click on the rasterize now this layer become a normal layer you can do anything that you can uh, as usual do in that layer so i hope you uh, like this details uh, tutorial if so subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching